So here we have the first screen that you'd be presented with when you start the E21. It's this single bend screen. Um, and I'll take you through the parameters quickly. Our x-axis um, is current position of x-axis, y is current position of y-axis, which is the beam, and x being your back gauge. XP is your programmed or desired position for your x-axis, being the back gauge, and YP is your programmed or desired position for your beam depth for your bending. DX is uh, the back gauge retraction. If you want uh, your material, if it may impact the fingers on your back gauge, you can have it retract. Um, HT is hold time. That's the hold time or the delay of the punch at the bottom of the bending point. Uh, DLY is the delay which is applied to the retraction. So you can also have your um, retraction occur slightly later in the cycle. Um, PP is number of parts programmed. CP is number of completed parts. And as you can see here, it says out of UDP. We can take care of that by bringing the beam up quickly. And then it says it's between soft limits ready to be programmed. If we move on to our next screen, um, that's over here. This shows your library of programs. There are up to 50 programs um, in the uh, E21, each with 25 steps in them. There's nice scope there for, for quite a lot of uh, uh, bending. If we push P again, we can see the constant screen. This is typically your machine um, parameters, but these are the high level parameters. Things like your measurement units, the language, uh, and also some parameters for the system like version of software, etc. If I push P once again, it takes us back to the single page. Um, and uh, that really is where we will currently set for position X at 200 and position Y, which is the depth of our beam at 128.5. I'm going to change the setting in single mode to do a single bend. Let's change X to 250 and let's change Y to 128. We push execute on the control and the machine will set itself up. What we'd like to do now is set up a multi-step program. We do that by coming out of single mode by pressing P, or stop rather, and then pressing P, which takes us to the programming screen. Here you have access to up to 40 programs with 25 steps in each, and every step can be repeated 99 times. Let's have a look at program one, which I set up earlier. You can see program one has got five steps programmed and we've completed one complete set of steps. If I push the side arrow, I step into the program and go to the first step. It shows our current position of X and Y, but it also shows our programmed positions for X, Y, retraction, and how many times we may repeat that step. If I press to the side again, I will go to step two, step three, step four, step five, and then I'll return to step one. But I'd like to set up my own three-step program, and I'm going to do that in slot number two. Let's shift over there now. Push enter on slot two, and I'm able to see that there is already a program there I'd like to overwrite. Pressing zero for the steps will overwrite all of the steps and set it to zero. I'm then able to go back to the step parameter and set it for my desired number of steps, which will be three in this case. Let's press enter. Now we can go to the first step. On step one, I would like to leave the machine in its current position, so I'll just cheat and take the current X position as 250, program it in. I can then also cheat and take the Y position as 127.99 and program it in, it's 128. For the sake of it, I'll just put it in again for us. Then I would like to have the back gauge retract as I'm doing a bend, and I shall set that to 20 millimeters. And that is it, that's our first step program. I can then go to step number two and say, let us set our back gauge at 200. Shift to that parameter, switch it to 200, press enter. I can then change my depth to 127 and I can set my retraction to zero for that particular step. Finally, I can move to step three. On step three, 
I would like my X position to be 100. I would like my Y position to return to 128. And I'd like my retraction to be 10. And there I have fulfilled all three of my steps. I can now push P, which will take me back to the home screen for that particular program, and push my execute button, which will start the program running. As you can see, the back gauge and the beam deck are set automatically. I can now press for step two. And finally, once the machine has set itself correctly, I can press for step number three. Thank you.